Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday. It is time now for Coffee with Conti right here in the Corvette vlog. Are you guys awake yet? If you're not, you will be in just a second. Beware if you're a headphone user. <laughs> Just like that, a quick sip, and we're started. Welcome everybody to another edition of Coffee with Conti. And how about that ZR1 exhaust note? Is that like the best factory, a factory exhaust note? Sounds like that. You know what stinks though? Is on camera, I'm sure that when you start that, it compresses a little bit. You don't get the full, you don't get the full essence of it. <sighs> if you heard one cold start in person, you're like, oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Yeah, man, that's a ZR1. I want to thank you guys for the comments on yesterday's video. You wanted me to do an inventory walk. You know, I just, I don't know, I wasn't in the mood to do that salesy kind of vlog today. I like sharing the after effect of my sales effort, and that's what I have for you today. Great show today. If you don't get an opportunity to watch this vlog in a full sitting, please come back and check it out. Some great cars and some great people. We're gonna share with you, actually the two deliveries I have for you today are both torch red cars with Kalahari interior. One guy, very complimentary, very motivated by what we do here on YouTube. Not only to get his Corvette, but to start his own YouTube channel. How about that? He's also motivated by a previous client right here on the channel. And Jim, you bought multiple Corvettes from us. The small little option you did made a big difference on his Corvette. You'll have an opportunity to meet Lance and Jenny from Ohio today. Hey, do you guys like my shirt today? Hey, come on now. If you haven't been on this channel, I've told you before, you can catch me on camera, off camera, at the dealership, at Costco's, at the gas station, cutting grass. <laughs> I'm always wearing something Corvette each and every day. Shirt, hat, jacket, shoes, socks, something, you name it. I'm a huge supporter of you guys and this brand. Again, welcome to my channel. Another clip I've got for you today, we all know that this car, when you buy it, is an emotional purchase, whether it's new or used. Corvette is just a certain type of emotion, a certain type of reward. The clip I have for you later today, I'm gonna to share with you a different side of emotion, is, um, is this gentleman used Corvette to start his life over. I think you're gonna appreciate his story and you're gonna enjoy Steve from Kansas. But let's get today's show started. Yesterday, at the end of the day, I made a quick walkthrough of a show I never had an opportunity to attend, so I wanna share that with you. It's the Vet Rods and Classics at Gahanna, Ohio. Check it out.
the Vets, Rods, and Classic Show. This is Creekside, Gahanna, Ohio. I've never been to this show. I wish I would have got here earlier. I'd like to show you all the cars here. As you can see, they're pretty well packed in here. Oh, look at this cute little thing right here. <laughs> That's what we thought we were going to need for the mid-engine car. But no, no, no. We've got ample space in the new 2020 car. But some of these cool cars right here, these are cars that you guys are seeing real quick. Just, again, a quick run-through of this show. But cars that you probably longed after when you were in high school. This is pretty cool. Told you, I've never been here before. Wanted to see the show. Lots of people, lots of cars, not just Corvettes. Cool cars. Look at this, Tressa, baby. I saw you. I saw it. I saw it already. That was the Orange Grand Sport. In case you missed it, that was her car. I mean, look at her. She's dressed in orange, for goodness sake. Did you even have to guess? <laughs> I love it. That's great. You know, I've talked before about doing the Corvette radio show. This is exactly why, one of the many reasons why I want to do the Corvette radio show, because we can promote little shows like this that are actually very big in the local communities that don't get the press like the Corvettes of Carlisle and Bloomington and things like that. So stay tuned. I'm going to do all I can to launch that. It's if I'm not busy enough as it is, but I just think it again, it'll be another way for me to connect with the Corvette community and offer something that nobody else is doing. And it'll be fun. A lot of reminiscing when you're looking at these old cars, you know what I mean? I love the new stuff, but looking at these old cars, I mean, even, <laughs> here we go. My buddy Pete's trying to hook me up because he knows I love the rapid blue on the new 2020 car. You look at this, it looks like grabber. You know they call it grabber blue or something like that on Ford? He's trying to trip me up with that every time I'm going to talk about this new color of Corvette that I'm going to slip up and call it Grabber Blue. That's Grabber Blue. It's not on Corvette. <laughs> Pretty darn close though, aren't they? Man, look at this. What a beautiful day too. Beautiful day to show this stuff off for you guys. I'll tell you what, if you're parked on this street... Oh, yes, sir. Hey, Bruce, what's happening? I'll tell you what, if you're parked on the street in the show, uh, don't be in a hurry to get out of here. This place is packed, but that's okay. Great people, great cars. I smell some good food too. I do smell some food. Oh, look, they brought a dump truck. Oh, isn't that nice? No, that's a block off the street, of course. I really snuck out of the office. We're busy every single day of the year except for oh Christmas and New Year. Hey, what's up? Hey, 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 Connie, what's, what's up? Hey, man. man. This is the guy we're going to have to do. The one time I don't have my point ninety nine with this guy, man. <laughs> we got so much material with Matt right here. Oh, my gosh. I got to get back out of your house. Say, I know. What? Yeah. That's it. That's us. That's 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 that? Absolutely. We, yes. might have to, we might have to revise that. I know. We might have to oh, revise yeah. that. The one time I, you see me and my car's not here. I'm just going to ask you. I just walked through real quick. We what don't, is your car We at? don't bring them. 
because it's oh. our show. So oh. we don't want to take any space from everybody oh, else. because space is limited. Yeah. This is really cool. This is for size. I snuck out. I was just telling everybody I snuck out of the office. Yeah. Come down here. See this real is, quick. This, this is, is awesome. our show. Yeah. But your custom computer. Yes. That matches your car. Yes. Oh my God. We got to do a little, little, little uh, Absolutely. thing with that. Absolutely. Yeah. It's going to happen. And then I got lots more mods. So. Oh. Vlog 3.0 will be a fun one. 3.0, 4.0, whatever the case may be. It's always good time with this guy. Hopefully, it won't be 45 minutes, but we'll, we'll try to make it short. People love you, brother. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. All right, take it easy. Good to see you, brother. All right. Yeah, I got to see Matt. Yes, he, he designed this computer that is like, it's not just a computer. It's a computer that matches his car. You guys will be so impressed. I got to put a link down below in the description of this particular vlog so you can see the two vlogs that Matt and I did together. You want to talk about aftermarket Here's tech and things you never thought were possible on your Corvette? That guy got it on his 2015 Stingray and <laughs> it's just speechless on the technology that he brings to you that you didn't you didn't think was possible. Matt gets it done and it's incredible what he's done with that car. Can't wait to do another vlog with him and uh, one day maybe <laughs> he's got so much into his current car right now. I don't know if I ever buy another car. He will at one day and then start all over. Could you imagine though, if you're the guy that gets Matt's trade in? Oh my word, we don't even want to talk about this. It's gonna be a long time. He's got a lot invested in that car and he's enjoying it. And that's what I like to see is you guys get out there, get out here, do this kind of thing and enjoy your cars. All right, it's pretty warm. I think I'm on the spot I need to be. Come on, you guys. Might get a little missed on the camera, but that's quite all right. Check this out right here. Oh yeah, baby. See what I was just talking about? I said, what is Matt gonna do? Can you imagine if you got his straight in? Forget it, you ain't getting it. Matt said, no. Matt said, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it, keeping the C7 and waiting for the Z06. So he's gonna have a front engine and a mid engine I'm gonna someday. give Rick my deposit on the Z06 right now. So. One dollar. Yeah. <laughs> what was that movie? Oh, Trading Places. Trading Places. Yeah, one dollar. One dollar bet. Yeah, one dollar bet, right. That's, right. That's all it takes. We are going to leave, but I hope you enjoyed this brief look at the Vets, Rods, and Classics here at Creekside, Gahanna, Ohio, brought to you by Capital City Corvette Club. Uh, before we get out of here, I'm, I'm walking back to my car now. There's a big, souped-up red SSR you guys got to see. The original Howitz Tooth. Look at that, guys. There's that SSR. Look at this thing. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what, guys, you really motivate me to do what I do here on YouTube. It's exciting for me to find out that I motivate you to either buy a Corvette and reward yourselves, or in the next guest's case, start his own YouTube channel. I was talking to Lance, he was so complimentary on what we do here on the channel. And I said, hey man, with your personality and what you do for a living, real estate, I said, you should do your own channel. He loves the realism and the connection that you and I have, all of us have, right here on the channel. He has done that. Just getting his channel started in the Ohio area at home in Hamilton. He does this brunch thing on Sunday so you can have coffee with Conti and then later you can have brunch with Lance at home in Hamilton. So check that channel out as it continues to develop. But right now what I want you to check out is his brand new Corvette. And actually there's one feature on the car that Lance ordered. It was kind of inspired by one of our previous vlogs thanks to Jim in Ohio. And it looks, uh, it looks okay, I bet they're waiting over there. I'm sorry. I just wanted to get you guys ready for their reaction. So you know when you're coming to get your car or the car's being shipped, it is like that, uh, like that kid at Christmas feeling. So they're waiting for me to drive over and he's not seen his car yet. I'm trying to paint that picture for you. you. You get where I'm going with this, guys? You know how they're gonna feel, and you guys are sharing in that moment. So thank you so much. This is the first ever Corvette. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna tell you, there they are right there. Look at, look at, look at. <laughs> There's Lance over there, checking it out. That's a great car. <laughs> All right, so how do you feel? I'm pulling up at a car you ordered you haven't seen yet other than on the Chevy build site. 
I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, look at, look at, you're ready to go. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm at a loss uh, for words, Rick. Lance, everybody right there, his wife Jen's over there. We've talked, oh my gosh, how many hours have we talked? A lot. A lot. A lot. Absolutely. Here's what's pretty neat. You and I hooked up because of YouTube. Absolutely. And I really appreciate the kind comments you said. You're in sales, yes. you sell homes. Yes. And he's just so intrigued by the YouTube thing. He and I, he was on vacation. So <laughs> sorry about that, Jen. He's on vacation. We were talking business for like an hour. And we've motivated him. He's like, man, I really like the YouTube thing. It's like, and I've said this before. You guys and whatever you do in your lives, you can connect with your audience through YouTube. And you're getting ready to do that, man. Absolutely. Going to hopefully blow it up a little bit. Absolutely, man. At home in Hamilton. At home in Hamilton. At home in Hamilton is coming to YouTube. So if you're looking to buy a home in the Hamilton, Ohio area. Or sell. Or sell. Or sell. Yes. See, he's broadening it already. <laughs> That's it. I like That's it. it. Absolutely. What a great way to market the lifestyle, the community, and some great things going on in the community down there. This is great for you, man. I'm, exci I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm, I've been so excited, <clears throat> not only to, to buy the car my dreams, right. but to start this next venture. Sure. Move on to something that's more fun, uh, reach more people, impact more people. I can't wait. It's going to be just a, hopefully a fabulous, yeah, fabulous year. And I can't thank you enough, Rick. You just oh. really helped me out. I'll do it. I, I can't thank you enough. It's been a blast. For everything. <laughs> well, it just and, and the enjoyment I'm having connecting on YouTube with you guys, I'm thankful that we're allowed to tell your stories and so many oh, more, yeah. is, is been encouraging for me and for others that watch the channel. I talked about this before too. There's people that watch my channel right now that don't own a Corvette, but they love the car. One day they just might. Look and even me. if they don't ever, they're supporting the yeah. brand, they're supporting the spirit. That's it. It's just great, that emotional attachment we have <laughs> to this car right there. That's your car, man. Check that out, I dude. Believe, I, I can't believe it. I mean, <laughs> I, never, I really I thought I'd have to be so much further. You know, you always think you have to be 60 years old or 70 years old before you had the money to, to buy something right. that you really, really want. And then you realize, no. No, you just, you knew that C7 was ending. Yep. And I appreciate the props, but this, you're in a great position in your mm -hmm. life right now. And you're going to make maybe some trims or sacrifices somewhere else to make this happen a absolutely. now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because we know after this year, there's no going back. There's not. I, you didn't want to be the guy. And I think you told me this on the yeah. phone. You said, man, I don't want to go. Wow. I should have. I should have got that car. Should have bought oh that car. Oh my gosh. Now, how many kids do you have? I have two. You two, have two. two boys, uh, Cameron and Carson, 14 and 11. 14 and 11. Yeah, yeah. How about that? So, they, you know. The perfect family car. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though? Here's perfect what you, for baseball. Here's what's great, though, dude. Yeah. You're getting it now at your age. You're getting it now at yeah. your kids' age. You're going to create some great memories. Oh, Think gosh. of the stories that your boys in 10, 20, 30 years from now are going to talk about their dad and See? the Corvette guy. I mean, that that's what this is about, man. That really was for me because my dad had a 66 427. And Nassau blue convertible car Ooh. and um, you know factory side pipes and I've heard all the stories from my uncles from him I heard all the stories about how this was just the coolest car in all of Butler County and he sold it before I was born oh. but I've got all these pictures of it well I don't want my kids looking at pictures I want them seeing it sure you know I had to dream about what it what it looked like oh, right. now they're gonna get to ride to baseball practice and baseball games sure take drop them off at school it's like hey dad take me tomorrow <laughs> okay yeah take you and make sure you drop me off in the front door I want everybody to see I'm my coming youngest, out in that my youngest told me that we're driving home from uh, vacation and he goes dad will you take me to school See? Absolutely. See, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why not? Man, they want to be a part of it, man. Absolutely. That's great. And then that, that way they'll realize that dreams are achievable. Yes. Just go get them. So he did Kalahari interior, but here, let me show you this feature that he did to a red car with Kalahari interior. You guys are going to love this. You're going to love it. I'm telling you, it's perfect. It's perfect. Can he show up on camera? Bam! Red seat belts, dude. That's awesome. You can't, you can't knock that. This, is, you this looks so customized. You know when you go to shows, how many compliments? Now make sure, see how this seat is? How the seat belts? Yeah, yeah, stretch. Fashion, yeah. Absolutely, so you want to show it like that. I mean, the possibilities are endless, not only enjoyment, but marketing for what you do in your community. And everybody's going to know now, that's Lance. <laughs> is it at home in Hamilton? At home in Hamilton. Yeah. You like yeah. that, don't you? Love it. I've already yeah. got my intros and stuff. And I'll oh, do you? This is great. Okay. So I figure, you know, I'll pull up to Historical Society. Okay. Camera comes on. Good morning. You know, this is Lance with At Home in Hamilton. And today we're going to be speaking with Historical Society about this wonderful house on Dayton Lane. Now, here's our guy from Historical Society. You know, and just kind of talk as you go to the house and <laughs> right. go through these houses that everybody's wanted to go in, but no one can right. because they're part of Historical Society. Let's oh, see, wouldn't that be kind of cool? You close the car door, 
Right. You know what I mean? Sort of like Oh, absolutely. A, yeah. And then the people get a little taste and a little flavor for the community and the in which they're about <laughs> to partake in. And, 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 the car. and the car. Oh, you're selling cars for me too now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. All the help I can get, I'll take it. it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, obviously, I've already got these ideas. You got me going. I'm boiling. I love it. Yeah, you got me I going. I love it. Yeah, well, I want you to drive it. You I, should absolutely. Well, the one thing I was talking about in a previous vlog, remember, when I was talking about our previous vlog, this is not your car. This is our car. Oh, yes. Absolutely. She likes the the, uh, the, the Grand blue. Sport yeah, with the red pretty. hash. Actually, that you know where that's going? Cincinnati area. Are you see when we take it back? <laughs> hey Tim. Hey Tim. Tim keeps watching. This. He goes, Rick. I keep seeing my car in the background. Yep, yeah. there it is. I'll and you're going to see this guy at the gas station probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this car, I did. The point I want to make with Jen is that. I'm glad to see that you're excited. Oh, very. And this is for you guys because you're getting involved in the Corvette community. Oh, yeah. You meet new friends. Yeah. Maybe you take that time and you travel places that you ordinarily wouldn't go. They say you stop off and you find this little place to get something to eat because you did it in your Corvette with the Corvette Club and you, yeah. you gain new friendships. Exactly. Uh, you're going to have a blast. You guys are going to have a blast. You know, I was just thinking about yeah. sitting here doing the paperwork, getting ready to go for the delivery, and I don't know when it was, but it was several months ago. Yeah. Did you sat on that couch right there, sat dude? Sat right there, yeah. And we had a long conversation Forever. about Corvette and everything Life, else. Yeah, everything. I don't know if I can get one. I might get one. And I just sat there and realized for a second, dude, you're sitting on the couch again and you're getting your car. <laughs> and thank you again to Jim here in Ohio for showing us the way red seat belts with Kalahari interior are an absolute rock star. Yeah. yeah. Think about this though, dude. Fourth of July weekend will never be the same. You're always gonna say that's the weekend. That's the weekend I, I got, got my car. Got my Corvette. I got my car. Yeah, man, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. And oh, and we got engaged 20, 20 years ago. 20 years on ago. Fourth on Fourth of July weekend? Did you really? Fourth of July. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's fantastic. Gained its independence and Lance lost it. <laughs> 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 I really like her a lot. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the debut of At Home at ha in Hamilton. At Home in Hamilton. Dude, it's just eloquent. Oh, it's going to be it's gonna be crazy. Oh, that's fantastic. It's hey, going to be. Do you want to do the send-off, Pat? Do you want to pat your husband on the rear before he goes? Sure. <laughs> she Absolutely. <laughs> All right. All right, come on over here, Jen. You got to be in the shot over here. Okay. And what I'm going to have you do is just reach your hand out, and then you're going to pat the back of the car three times. So if you'd be the so back kind. Of the car? Yeah, just okay. stand right here. You're good. One, two. Three, yes! He's asking me, do, do I sit or do I stand? Here, you're a lot taller than I am, so why don't you go ahead and sit and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> All right, I want to introduce you guys to Steve. Uh, we're past the warm and fuzzy stage. We've been having fun. He and his buddy Scott telling stories, just, you know, trying to keep it loose, trying to make it fun, because this is a little bit more of a serious conversation than we normally have on the vlog. And again, I thank him so much for giving me that opportunity to share his story and his motivation to buy this Corvette. A little bit different than what you guys think. So Steve, welcome from Kansas, my man. Hey Scott, how you doing? Good, great. Okay, you're a big talker today, so you gotta yeah. be quiet. <laughs> okay. This is Steve's day. It is. It is. It's all about Steve. Steve's like, yeah, you're right. Thank you, Rick. He'll just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Although you've had some pretty good stories. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He does. You've uh, got no idea. Yeah, but uh, I have fun with you guys, and thanks for the opportunity for coming in here. And when you and I were talking on the phone, you said, yeah, Rick, I watch your YouTube channel thing. You're, I don't know, you called me some kind of a character or something like that. Nutcase. You know? Nutcase, Nut yeah. Case. Okay, that'll work. I'll take that. That'll, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you shared with me something real personal. Thank you for going on the vlog to talk about that because that meant a lot to me because uh, I understand, I really feel in my heart that I understand the emotional connection to this car probably better than anybody. That's what keeps me in the car business. Not the car business, because the car business is brain damage, but I love the people and I love the car. You're a retired General Motors worker. Right. You understand exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. But um, here's a situation where you're, I don't know, do we say that you're kind of starting your life over? Would that be a, a, a fair yes. analogy? I married my childhood sweetheart. At, um, we met at 17 and got married two years later. And okay. uh, she died uh, last year, right okay. after Thanksgiving. Wow. Uh, after just a month short of 44 years of marriage. Wow, so, how about that? What was her name? Linda. Linda, okay. Yeah. And uh, we had a 55 Chevy convertible, well we, <laughs> we still do. Right. Um, and when I married her, I had a 56 Chevy Nomad. Oh, how about uh, that? So we, we do the, we like the old cars and do the car show and... Right. Uh, now that she's gone, I just needed to move on. 
Yeah. Sell the 55, which is pen, well, still for sale. Yeah. No, that's okay. And start a new chapter in my life. And, you know, that's what we were talking about on the phone. And you said, you know, Rick, I can't, I can't just sit here and dwell on this. And you were emotional on the phone. Right. And he said, Rick, I might get emotional when I get here to get this car because I know what it means. It means that I'm, I'm cutting the ties. I am moving forward. It's not like you're not forgetting your wife, for goodness right. sakes. Um, and I appreciate that. And I know that you've been selling off a lot of stuff so you can kind of kind of reset your life, I guess. Yeah. And you're doing it in a Corvette so it keeps you active, keeps you motivated, keeps you moving forward. Yeah. And uh, I, commend, I commend you for that, man. Yeah. I really mean, I'm, in, I'm in a sport group and everybody says you need to... You need to move on, you know, right. do new things. And, sure. Uh, so, you going to join a Corvette club or anything like that? Probably. Or are you just going to hang out with him all day? <laughs> well, <laughs> right, right. Well, I'll, I'll encourage him to stay active. And, no, I, yeah, I love it. Support. That's good because, you know, the, the, oh, and this is your first Corvette. Yes. Which I've I think is. one my whole life. I think that's great because the Corvette community, once you join those clubs and go to shows, go to cruises, yes, it keeps you busy, but you just you meet so many cool people. And you guys share the same passion, but you you meet a lot of good people. Uh, that's what's that's what this community is, and that's what I love being a part of. So, you're in for a really good chapter yeah. in your in your life. I'm excited about it. So let me just ask you this: uh, No offense, asking you if your wife was here today, what would she say to you? You're buying a Corvette. Would she think you're nuts, or she'd say, "Yeah, go for it, Steve." <laughs> She'd probably say, yeah, go for it, but you are nuts. <laughs> A little bit of both. Yeah. A little bit of both. Take a deep breath. Oh, Look yeah. at you now. <laughs> ah, man, it's cool. It's nice and easy. But thanks for sharing your story. Thanks for making me a part of the experience. I really appreciate it, man. Awesome. It's good, man. It's good to meet you. Be careful Pleasure. going back to Kansas. Pleasure's all mine. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> all right, it's time to do a little send-off, Pat. Get them going. They're actually going to go fart around here in Ohio first. And then you might even... Hey, you know what? If you get... Um, Steve, if you go by the basket building, I'd love to get a picture that you may take oh, of the car all right. over there. Absolutely. Okay. You guys are not familiar here in Ohio, uh, although the building is no longer <laughs> occupied. I'm talking about the Longerberger Basket Building. This is some kind of neat that he would probably never have an opportunity to see. He's here, so why not? They're going to go cruise out that way toward Coshocton, Ohio. But going back to Kansas, we give Steve a send-off. Pat, it is first ever new Corvette. Congratulations, man. Wish you the best. But remember I told you Steve was going to go fart around here in Ohio, basket building, all that kind of stuff. As a matter of fact, uh, he did stop there. Check it out. Wow, I feel good. Yes, that was a nice little memory for you, but he's back right now. Get ready to go to Kansas. Now, you got to do that thing. I just walked out of the office and saw you come back. What did you do as soon as I walked out here? Woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> Do you think he's a Corvette owner? Do you think he likes his car? My man. Oh, yeah. Scott's in here revving it up and yeah. all. That. You know it, baby. He's got seatbelt yeah, on too. What the I'm hell are you ready. doing? Get out of his car. Yeah, no. <laughs> he's driving it back to the motel. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Hey, hey I just I wanted to capture that. That was pretty cool. So people always see you send off, but then it's like, hey, after you get the car for a little bit, you know, what are you thinking? This guy's fired up, man, and I am too. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed today's upload. And I'll tell you, I've got, I've got so many delivery clips I haven't yet shared. I might have to go back to daily vlogs just so I can get those all on the channel. I feel so bad. Some great people, some great experiences I can't wait to share with you on the channel. And whether you checked in early in the morning or late at night, you're sitting in bed, you checked in to see what's going on in my little corner of the Corvette world. That means a lot. I really do appreciate that. Looking forward to your comments down below. I don't even have to ask you guys anymore. Everybody is just so engaging and makes great comments, great conversation amongst each other and with you and I. Thank you for that. I do appreciate that. Don't forget to send us pictures of your beautiful rides that we'll feature at the end of our vlog on Tuesday. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon.